Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a rather highly requested tutorial which is how to build this 5x5 cave door and it's not any ordinary 5x5 cave door because it's perfect in every way so if you don't know what I mean by that well it's kind of obvious so the animation is clean it's as fast as you can get it without zero tick pulses it's layout size it has a redstone dust input down here. The lamp is always on. It's symmetrical. What more could you want? It's super fast. Redstone is super simple. So yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the tutorial. So to build this door, you will need a five by 11 area and your floor level is here, two blocks above the base of your door. Now a couple of things I'm going to mention before we get into the tutorial. So first thing is the layout of this door does most people's heads in. So I'm not going to build the whole layout at once. We're going to go for the bottom, then the sides and then the top. And then after that, there's a few bugs with the sides where they're locational and they don't work. And there's three variants of the side circuit. And so basically if it doesn't work, one of them will. So that's one thing to keep in mind so anyway enough of that let's actually get into it so first things first we want to come to the middle of this 11 wide area and then count in to the third block place a sticky piston facing upwards like that then two more like this and then a double piston extender like that then we want to place a floor block here and it has to be solid. This is going to conduct redstone power with a redstone torch and it's going to extend that top piston. So then we want to place three blocks like this, redstone dust on top and then blocks like so. More redstone dust, then a torch and that will push these up. Then we want to come around here, place more blocks and before we totally block ourselves out we want to place a torch here so that this piston extends then we place block here torch you see that extends so we need that block then we place another torch here and then and two more blocks and then a two tick repeater um, and you may be wondering what this is actually powering uh, this is bud powering this just to make it one redstone dust cheaper although it may be locational, I don't know, I haven't seen it being locational, so if it doesn't work, just replace that with a redstone dust, but it you shouldn't need that redstone dust. But anyway, then we place redstone here, a three tick repeater like that, redstone dust, then monostable here, and then a one tick repeater like that. So if we just place in a floor block and then we flick it on, you'll notice that we get the double retraction with the last pulse. So now we can just fill in our floor area like so. So we fill up to here and then here as well so that it's five wide. And that is the bottom of the door done. And now we can wire the sides of the door. So first we place two blocks here with two redstone dust and then one block here with more redstone dust. And then we want to place blocks with torches on top on either side. Now before we go any further we need to place in our pistons. So we place one here, one diagonally up from it, another one diagonally up from it. Then we go up the other way and we stop here. So we place pistons like this. And we mirror that on the other side. Like that. Now we place a block here and then double extenders going around that block and we can actually leave that block there because it's going to be used to power these pistons later on. So then we do the same thing here and that's the layout for the sides done. So now we can just fill in the walls and then we can wire it in. So first we place these two blocks here, redstone dust, then a half slab here, then a block like this, 
redstone dust going up and then we want to place a block here and then more blocks like that two to repeater here redstone dust here blocks then a two to repeater there two half slabs here and then two redstone dust there and make sure to block this off otherwise it's going to loop so then under here um, we place redstone dust here blocks coming down like this and then block going up to there with redstone dust then a block here torch then a block then torch here and here block and then a two tick repeater like that now what we want to do here is we want to place a sticky piston here and then a redstone block here now this isn't necessary this is just to make it symmetrical with the redstone blocks what this is going to do is is actually going to pull back when the door closes and then it's going to push forward when the door opens so this side should work there we go this side is a bit different because it has the redstone block double extender on it so we place blocks like this half slab there block there and then bring all your redstone dust up and go along to the end of here then come down here place blocks like this and then go down one block further redstone dust on all of them then tower up like this torches here and here another torch there block two blocks here repeater and then redstone dust there like that now we want to place in our double extender and replace this with a redstone block then we want to mirror the top of that section over here so we place a two tick repeater here redstone and then another two tick repeater slabs two redstone dust but we need to block both of these connections off and one more thing we need to do like so it will um, retract this without messing up we need to place block here and then a sticky piston facing downwards and we do this uh, because otherwise if this block wasn't pushed downwards it would bud this piston with a four tick delay and it would not retract so now both our sides should work along with the bottom and now we just need to wire in the top so first things first we place a sticky piston facing downwards here and then go along diagonally with them like so and then back the other way so we have this V shape and then place a double extender facing downwards like this and then a triple piston extender facing downwards like that then we want to fill in our ceiling and then we can actually wire it so first things first we place a slab here redstone dust on top and since the signal strength of this redstone dust coming up here would be too weak to power anything and keep it in sync um, we need to have an instant repeater so we place one here and then one sticky piston here then place a redstone block on the face of this sticky piston and a normal block on the face of this sticky piston and you'll notice it, it extends because it's being bud powered by this redstone block then we place blocks like so redstone dust on top then a sticky piston here with a block on its face blocks along here repeater redstone dust then a furnace and that's just going to have one of any stackable item in it then place a block here redstone comparator coming out of it and then we place in a block here sticky piston facing downwards block on its face then in fact actually we need to move that down to here then we place another furnace here and we're going to put an unstackable item in there I'm using a wooden spade because it's the cheapest unstackable item there is then we need to place block here a comparator block block then redstone dust going around there like so and then place blocks coming down here 
more redstone dust on top and then place block here and so we create this V shape like that two tick repeater here redstone dust blocks more redstone dust then we place two half slabs here redstone dust on top repeater lock lock redstone repeater and then to finish off the triple extension and retraction we place redstone here repeater here lock redstone here two tick repeater like that piston facing downwards then blocks like so redstone dust here then we place blocks in an upside down V shape like that redstone dust here a one tick repeater here and then for the last pulse we place a repeater here and then a two tick repeater here so now if we try this out it closes and it's not opening because I forgot that redstone dust and you will notice that um, this piston here is pulsing and that's because uh, we haven't finished this off yet because we need to add the feature that makes the lamp always on so first we place in our redstone lamp right here on the end of the triple extender and then to make it always on we want to place a comparator here you'll notice this redstone redirect so it will no longer pulse that piston down there then we place redstone dust next to that comparator and then we come into this small gap here place a sticky piston here a cauldron on it and make sure you do not hold shift when you place the water inside it otherwise a lot of your redstone is going to be destroyed and you'll have to rewind the video so place water inside it like that you'll notice it turns on and our lamp is now turned on but we're not done yet we just need to place a one tick repeater there and then redstone dust on top of that block and our door is done in some locations this piston here may stay extended because it's being budded by this redstone dust here and in the case that that happens just place a normal piston facing downwards like this and it should update it now for the thing I mentioned earlier about there being different variants for the sides so there are multiple issues that can occur. Either this piston here will stay extended because it's being bud powered by this block, or the side pistons will extend in the wrong order because this can happen sometimes. This piston under here can sometimes be bud powered through this block. So there's a simple way to fix this and I'll show you the three different variants of the sides. This one is the first one and I'll show you the other two. This is the first variant, the one I showed you in the tutorial. This is the second variant. The repeater is on top of a half slab. This is important, otherwise it will not work. And this is the third variant. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I tried to make it as in-depth as possible because lots of people have had locational issues on my previous 5x5 cave door tutorials. So I tried to make this one as inclusive as possible for everyone. So anyway, if you've got any feedback, leave it in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.